Hi, I'm Dr. Walter Matwichek, and the purpose of today's intermittent reinforcement email message is to bring to you your attention how certain celebrities sometimes hold ideas that are consistent with REBT philosophy. My wife was reading the autobiography of Tom Selleck, the actor who starred in both Blue Bloods and Magnum P.I., and she pointed out to me a sentence that he wrote in his autobiography. It pertained to the idea that he chose not to upset himself when other people made offensive behaviors or comments towards him, and that he saw hurt as an unproductive negative emotion. Whenever I learn of a celebrity making statements that are consistent with REBT, I I like to point this out to the public because I think sometimes the success that people enjoy is partly related to having healthy attitudes. Certainly actors are going to get rejected. They're going to fail to get certain parts. They're going to receive negative criticism. Sometimes people are going to criticize, criticize them in a way that can even be offensive. And at least in this instance, in his autobiography, Selig points out that he has no time for upsetting himself when people make offensive comments to him, that he seems to have learned what we would call in REBT, the principle of emotional responsibility. In REBT, we show people that yes, others may make offensive comments, but how we think of them, our attitude towards those offensive comments, largely determines whether we upset ourselves or whether we have a healthy negative emotion. Hurt, from the REBT perspective, is an unhealthy negative emotion because it rests on the attitude that other people have to treat us nicely. And we deserve this and they have to do that. And it often results in immature behavior like sulking or withdrawal. Whereas when people take responsibility for their emotional reactions to other people's disagreeable behavior, they may very well feel sorrow or sadness or disappointment. And that attitude that leads to such sorrow, sadness, and disappointment is that I'd like other people to treat me nicely, but sadly, they don't have to. The universe doesn't compel humans with their imperfections to treat each other fairly, nicely, kindly, civilly. And so I would encourage you to strive to have a healthy attitude of personal responsibility towards other people and see that even when they make offensive comments, you can have a thick skin. You don't have to upset yourself. You cannot take them too seriously. You could choose to be sad and disappointed that they have in fact disrespected you or made some other form of offensive behavior, but you never have to disturb yourself. In REBT, we're always making a distinction between a healthy emotional response and an unhealthy emotional response. And it is our thinking that determines whether or not our response is healthy and self-helping or unhealthy and self-defeating. I would like to invite you to join me on Saturdays at 9 a.m. here in New York City on Zoom when I hold a conversation with a volunteer and I show them how to implement some of the profound ideas of rational emotive behavior therapy. During these demonstrations, I teach people unconditional self-acceptance, unconditional other acceptance, and unconditional life acceptance. This, these Zoom meetings are free to attend and they're widely attended by people around the world. They're held every Saturday and I'd encourage you to join us. Write to me at rebtdoctor at gmail.com and I'll be happy to send you the link. I hope to see you on Saturday.